What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Heat 5. Today, we are out here in the great state of Pennsylvania, Long Pond, Pennsylvania, to be exact. We are here at the Pocono Raceway, a.k.a. the Tricky Triangle. You could technically call this thing a tribal track, but the corners are much more intense and much more diverse than something like a Daytona International Speedway, so it's, it's going to be tough. It, it's going to be different. It's going to be a hard race. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to start off with a uh, a tight setup here. I'm a little bit nervous about this, dude. This is this is going to be kind of a crazy one, I'm not going to lie. We have not raced on anything like this before. You can see that, that triangle up there in the, the bottom left, or down there in the bottom left, I guess would be a better description. This is beautiful country, that's for sure. Look at all the trees and the rolling hills and stuff in the background. Lots of greenery. Blue skies, green grass. Definitely looks good. We have this long straight right here, and then we have a tight corner. Definitely going to have to get on the brakes a little bit and be smart about it. Accelerate out of that and get up against another straight. This is the shorter edge of the triangle here. And then the other two, the other two turns are... are a bit more of a rounded corner, but it looks like we are going to have to get on the brake on all of them. So yeah, this, I mean, this is going to be a slightly different track. It, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not an oval, it's not a road course, it's, it's kind of a triangle, which is very weird. But, uh, welcome back, guys. I'm excited to be back. We're going to see what we can do. This is actually the second race of the season here, so they had two back-to-back -back races. There was a Pocono 325. And a Pocono 350. Those are the number of miles that you end up driving. So I simmed the 325. I think it, it gave us a P28, which isn't bad. But I just figured, you know, why, why do the same thing back to back? You know what I mean? We might as well just do one. And let's, let's do the longer one in favor of the shorter one. That's the wall. Okay. Well, I totally, you know, wasn't, wasn't scared about that at all. Totally thought we had that under control. So we just we gotta we gotta find the right the right mix of gas and lifting and braking. You gotta get to that max corner speed and just kind of roll through it there if you can. Looks like our goal lap time is gonna be about a 56.5, and we're we're dropping 57.7s here. So we definitely have a a bit of work to get done. Who knows? Because we have to brake and slow down so much, maybe we're gonna want a bit of a looser setup. Let's give it a shot here. Let's start up a new lap. So we actually just set a 57.6, which isn't isn't bad, but let's let's get real real serious. We're all the way loosened up here. Just gotta find that that right balance where you just break just a little bit. You don't want to screech the tires. You don't you don't want to do anything too crazy. You want to just be smooth about all of your inputs. Smooth onto the gas. Smooth off the gas. Smooth on and off the brake. Just kind of do. Do your thing. Be smooth here. I love this back stretch, dude. So, so nice. Kind of came in a little bit hot there, but we might be able to work with it. We just took a, a slightly higher line. I think we got to get off the gas a little bit earlier. And just very smoothly on the brake. See, like that, that wasn't very smooth on the brake, but that's all right. Just going to throttle this thing out. When in doubt, throttle it out. Almost hit the wall, but we're good. How's that? That's got to be a good time. Still a second behind where we want to be. Dang it, I actually felt like that was pretty solid too, so. Well, I'm going to keep working on this a little bit, but uh, I got a feeling qualifying just isn't isn't going to be our best, our best deal here. Excellent lap, good job. We got it to within 57, 57.006. Less than half a second off the goal, but dude, half half a second behind your goal is still not is still not exactly where you want to be. Oh, 56.8. I don't. I, we're we're getting better, but it's all right. Honestly, it, it if you hit your practice goal, it's like a small monetary boost, like a couple thousand dollars. It's it's honestly just not even worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and skip over to our next session. We've got some qualifying here. 56.7 is going to be our goal here. Let's let's see if we can put up a, a good time. Biggest thing is just try to figure out where to lift off. You want to make sure you have that, that max corner speed all the way through, but you also don't go too hard that you end up going into the wall. See, like that right there was 
fairly smooth. Don't touch the wall there, Trev. Getting awfully close. Quali lap starting up here. We've got one lap to do it. First of three turns coming up. Let off a bit. Ooh. Really, really kind of came in too hot there. We were, we were trying to do too much. That's all right, though. We, we could come back from that. You know, we were still fairly smooth. It's just it would have been nicer for us to let off a little bit earlier or possibly break a little bit. I've been trying to, as we were getting faster in practice, it was kind of seeming like not breaking was the way to go. Just lifting off it was working pretty well for us. I feel like this is definitely not our... Uh, not our best performance here. Oh, yeah, uh, in, in the grass. Yep, that helps. Okay, we 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 straight just slaughtered this in a bad way. That was <laughs> that was nowhere near what we had All been right, doing in practice. We got a 57-8. Going to be starting in 27th. I mean, I think that's fair. That that was an ugly, ugly lap for us. So that's all right, though. We're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be able to work with it, obviously. We're going to be drafting. We're going to be moving through traffic. We're going to be doing our thing. So let's see what we can make of this tricky triangle. Brad Koslowski, if you need a boost, try to draft with Brad. Austin Dillon changed his engine after qualifying. He's going to be back in the back. And Joey Logano is going to be starting at the back as well with the failed inspection. Let's see what we can do with this here triangle. The tricky triangle. This ain't no obtuse triangle. This ain't no isosceles triangle. This here is that acute triangle. Gonna try to try to break me off a piece of this acute triangle. Let's see what we can do. Got to be really careful about these corners. Obviously, don't want to end up running headstrong into the rear end of some of these guys. That was actually pretty smooth there. I feel like that's going to be by far the, the trickiest part of this track. It's going to be finding the breaking points. These corners have some pretty late apexes, so it's just, dude, it's, it's kind of a... It's kind of a tricky thing, because you got to break enough to be able to make it there, and you gotta you got to not break too hard that you don't end up losing positions. I feel like we've done a decent job so far. You also could just kind of lift a little bit more than anything, than breaking. But I think that's going to be a little bit slower. I'm going to try to try to draft on Stenhouse here. Going to try to catch up to this uh, this group in front of us. Came a little bump there. We got to break because we're going way too fast now. And you got to get back on it as soon as you can, as soon as you have that that minimum current, the the corner speed, so that you don't end up going too slow. This I know why it's called a tricky triangle because it's it's three corners that are tough. Oftentimes those bigs like, you know, obviously the super speedways where you're flat out aren't tough at all on the corners, but um, you know some some of the other speedways are like you know they'll they'll have one that's a little bit tighter than the other one and it, it just like it, it throws you some problems. This track has three corners that are significantly difficult. All right, you're clear. Come on, baby. We're definitely losing some ground to this group in front of us. It looks like, oh yeah. Thank you for the little, the little bump there. I appreciate that. Now we got to be smart here. We got to be smart. So we got to lift off. We got to break very lightly. And smoothly, but enough to make sure we get down to that minimum speed. We still we carried up too too far up the track. We we're a little late on getting on the gas there, I think. I mean, there are multiple lines you could take, but it's just, dude, it's it's tough. It, it is it is hard. There's no doubt about that. These next two corners don't seem to be as bad. It's like, oh, that's okay. Yep. Don't don't want to hit the wall like that. Stenhouse is going around us. I'm gonna to try to get behind him. We gotta we gotta to try to work together somehow, dude. Here we go. Now we're gonna have a ton of speed from this draft, so we gotta be we gotta be really careful. All clear. Kinda of came in a little bit too hot. Hey, we got the position. Now he's gonna push us up this back stretch, hopefully. We just gotta to try to try to catch up to the guys up in front of us to here and we are in a very boring P23 here. 
Very boring P23. That was a pretty nice corner there. I let off rather than breaking. The car ahead of you is pitting. Car ahead of us is pitting. Oh, uh-oh. All right, I'm going to say uh, do not pit. Go back to the green flag restart. I was just going to ask for some sort of a uh, some sort of a caution. So we'll take it. That's going to put us in P22, and that's going to group us all back up. See what kind of trouble we can get in, into here. Inside. I don't want to try to dive bomb the inside on these fools. I don't know if that's going to be our best idea, though. Got to be careful. Really don't want to go into the rear end of somebody here. See, look how late this apex is, dude. Still there. That's what's so tough about this this track. But we're okay. All right. So we're we're back with the main group. As long as we can be smooth through here, let's let's just try to do our thing. So here, I think I'm just going to lift. I'm going to lift. Wait, 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 wait. Accelerate. Smooth. Coming out of that corner with a decent amount of speed. Now, this next one, we're actually going to have to brake, though. Definitely going to have to brake. Lift off for a bit longer. Want to make sure we get back on the gas as soon as possible. Get behind Clint here. We got three and four wide up there. It's getting pretty gnarly, I'm not going to lie. I don't know that we want to go to the inside, but I don't think we really have a choice, so we're just going to take what we can get. I'm going to lift off, try to be as, as pleasant as possible. Got a car high now. Screech the tires a little bit, wasn't the smoothest braking. Inside. But we're okay. You just have to be so smooth on the braking. All right, you're clear. Get a little bit of drafting speed. Oh, boy! We got three to go, boys, and it's, it's looking pretty good. Shoot, we are really in the thick of it now. I'm going to try to get to the inside. Car on the outside now. Be careful. Don't run into them. Sorry. Tried to get back on it there. Just didn't want to lose speed. We kind of had to use use Harvick as a bit of a bumper right there, but it's it's fine, bro. Everybody's got to bowl with the bumpers at some point in their life, right? Everybody's got to drive NASCAR with the bumpers at some point as well. Try to get a draft on Boyer here. Come on, baby. Oh, this we are we are three wide going into this corner here. This is not a good look. I'm gonna try to lift off. Clear high, clear high, clear low, bud. Outside, outside. It's it's hard, man. It's 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 really really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. It it is it is so tough. I'm trying to stay behind Elliot here. Come on, let's let's try to get to this straight. We're falling back. We're back into P20. Come on. Still there. Had a good exit here. Oop, oop, oop. Getting a little bit loose. That's fine. We're in P20. I would really like to protect P20 here if we can. I would I would love to, to get P19 if possible. So I'm going to lift off. Just smooth around this corner. Shoot. A little bit, little bit late to get back on the gas. We're fine. We're fine. We got one corner to go, Trev. Not our best race ever. I mean, not bad. We did kind of work our way up a bit, but I'm going to be honest. Like, this... This <laughs> this is the most technical track that we've been on so far, except for maybe maybe Pocono in the last one, or not Pocono, uh, whatever you would have call it, uh, Sonoma. We're on Pocono right now. I was really fending off pretty dirtily that that 20 at the end there, but we'll we'll take it. That was one of our objectives, I think, is to get a P20, and that's that's gonna be nice for our contract. So, hope you guys enjoyed that was a tough track. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I I feel like it wasn't the most exciting race in the world, but I feel like it was kind of a little personal victory. That was not easy at all. Oh, thanks, Matt. Says, don't worry about your last few races. Everybody has a rough stretch. You're going to snap out of this slump soon enough. Appreciate that, man. That is actually really nice. Mike McDowell says, hey, don't worry about your... Okay, he says the same thing. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and insult him. <laughs> Why not? You can't copy somebody else's tweet, bro. Get that, that ish out of here. So you guys can see we did end up getting our two top 20s for our, our contract challenge there. If it's up for the grabs, I'm going to take it, baby. So next up, looks like we've got the Indy Super Speedway. Is that what it's called? Just Indianapolis Speedway, I think. Not Super Speedway. Indianapolis Speedway. Obviously, you know, tons, tons and tons and tons of history here. So it's going to be fun. Hopefully we can cross that brick finish line in like... Maybe a top 10? That'd be nice. 